Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to paint this Toon Banshee using just five different colours. Now these colours can all be found in the Age of Sigma starter set. I'm also using some matte medium. Colours are black and the white, celestra grey, red and blue. And the blue is this Nighthawk gloom. So I've primed the figure in white and I'm mixing up some of the gloom with some water and a little bit of matte medium and I'm going to start applying that to the bottom of the figure and working my way up so I try to put it on more thickly in the folds and the creases less thickly on the flat areas once I've got it all on, I then get a damp, clean brush and wipe off the bits where I don't think it's needed on the flatter areas typically and around the bottom and around the edges Just working my way around here Ok, next stage we're going to mix up some black and some of the grey together to get a very dark grey And I'm just dotting this along the bottom of the robes and in the creases of the robes here at the bottom and just under the corset as well. As you can see I'm just kind of spotting it on or dabbing it on very lightly. And then I'm blending this together with some water. Here we are under the corset. Slightly darker here, slightly more paint, i.e. slightly less water. Because you want a slightly darker tone. And then I'm painting the whole corset in this mid to dark grey colour. Next I've added some more black into the mix for a very dark grey and doing the headpiece, the collar, the shoulders, I'm not sure what you call that. You've got to be very careful here because you don't really want to get this very dark colour onto your white primed undercoat. Because if you do, you're going to have to wash it off and re-white it. Okay, so now I'm mixing up another colour. Mixing together the blue, the gloom, with some red to make a lilac, I suppose it is. Purple, a lilac. There's a bit of water in there and a bit of matte medium. Now we're going to apply this to the to the hair of the model. Uh, it's about a number three brush this, possibly a number five. Just to paint it on. As you saw there's some water in there and a bit of medium. Again being careful, you don't want to get it on the white if you can avoid it. Take time. Be neat because your water is quite thin it should go on smoothly. Once it's all on, clean your brush, dampen it off and remove some of the lilac colour to leave some white strands. This is going to give you a very natural highlight. Ok now we're going to put the same colour onto the skin. Again, it's going on quite a thin, watery consistency. And as with the hair, once it's on, you have to clean your brush, get it damp, and take most of it off. Just leave it in the creases, in the knuckles, and up towards the sleeve. 
I've also done the same on the face as you can just about see here. Tried to get into the sockets and into the nose. Now we are using thinned down black to put a wash on top of the corset area. This is going to effectively make the corset black. But because we've got the grey undercoat, we should get some natural, easy highlighting. And I'm also doing it for the headpiece. Is that a headpiece? The collar. And very, very carefully into the eye sockets, the nose and the mouth. Now the, the paint is quite thin here, it's watered down. So then what I've done is I've cleaned off my brush and I'm using it to just suck up some of that black. So I thought it was a little bit thick. Because it's very watery, the brush will just suck it back up. And I'm also putting some thinned black into the hair. Again, taking my time trying to avoid all the white and light coloured areas. So now I'm doing some highlighting on the collar using the blue, the night on blue rather, I keep calling it blue. It's thinned down as per usual. It's possibly a bit of medium in there. You have to use your judgment sometimes. And I'm highlighting the whole of the collar area, not just the spikes, but the edges, the frills. I'm also using this blue colour to paint the dagger. Quite tricky this bit, you've got to get in amongst all the strands of the hair. So just keep twisting your model around, trying to get the best angle you can, where you can attack it without touching any of the other bits that you've already painted. And then, as per usual, clean off your brush, dampen it, remove some of the paints that you don't want to give yourself a smooth highlight. I think the camera's a little bit out of focus there. Okay, um, we've still got the blue and we're going to go and reinforce some of the creases on the lower robes here. So as you can see I'm just trying to put it in where the deepest creases are up around the corset area and then also on the lower robes working my way upwards. So I'm putting it on reasonably thick and then thinning it out with water into the thinner areas. Then it goes on thick. Clean off the brush. Use water just to pull it up. You get a nice graduated effect going from darker to lighter. I'll show you that again. I'm kind of dotting it on and then smoothing it out with some water. I also decided to put a little bit into the hair just to give the hair more texture. And yep, yeah, under the eyes, we like a challenge into the mouth as well. And a little bit under the cheek there, just to give it that sort of hollow, hollow face. Even more in the hair there. It's very thin this, very watery. And then I've decided it's a bit too much, take a little bit out. Quite often it's a back and forth process. So now we're onto the pure grey, the Celestra grey. I've got it thin with water. And I'm just applying some basic highlights on the corset, just catching the edges. Notice that I'm using the edge of the brush rather than the tip.
using a combination of just dotting it on and stripes. Stripe there, dots along the edges. Stripes on the collar. Bit thick that I think. We'll come back to that later. Okay, so this is how it looks after all that all that uh, painting. So now we're going back to the white areas. We're trying to clean them up. I've got pure white in my palette now. Thinned it down with some water, and I'm just picking out all the edges. This is just traditional highlighting. So here I'm using just a firm stroke or a stripe. I'm using the edge of the brush rather than the very tip. Notice how it's quite watery. So we get a nice smooth coat. When you put it on a flat area like that, wash it off your brush and then just use water to blend it in. And here I'm going back to the dotting technique. So instead of painting it on in stripes, I'm just dotting it on. Either way you can do. It's just an alternative way of doing it. Sometimes the dots give it a little bit of a more textured appearance. And then I'm just thinning it out. Trying to blend it all in. I'm just using water. So there we go, some more dots there. It's a bit hard to see the white here on a white figure. So there you go, dots and stripes. And onto the hair. Some white highlights on the hair. So these are going to be mostly on the ends of the strands. Just little fine lines. Not really dotting this, just little stripes. And I went back in with some black, some thin black, over those white highlights on the collar that I wasn't dead keen on, just to disguise those a little, make them a bit more subtle. And then I went over the whole of the corset to darken it, make it more of a black rather than a grey. There we go, corset. And that's finished. Hope you enjoyed that video guys. If you did, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'll see you next time.